level 11 is a collection of bedrooms of a house and most of them are of your own bedroom that was from like when you were like five years old to like seven and and there's also occasionally other rooms like such as bathrooms living rooms kitchens dining rooms study rooms and much more this level is livable in it but it's not possible to make a base here because the other people get split up into their own bedroom recreations. Level 12 is a collection of spread out basement rooms. Some of them are bedrooms, closets, and family rooms, or even bars. Most of them are of random houses that, you, that you've been in, the, in the real life. Sometimes even your house. Making it an, another nostalgia trip Indeed. Level 13 is a huge woods area that kind of resembles level 14, but all of it is green. And it's so unnaturally green that it doesn't even look real. So, you better place your bets. But this level still is uncannily dangerous with some, with an entity that is only found on this level known as the jumpers and those types of en and those entities will try and attack you by leaping at you and that's how they got their name level 14 is a collection of purple rooms that are just purple every room is purple in this house well it's technically not a house but it's meant to resemble one and these and the color never changes but some People have, some wanderers have reported there being blue rooms, but that's not confirmed yet. But what I have to do know is that these rooms are infinitely in size and they range from hallways to bedrooms to master bedrooms to bathrooms and even living rooms and kitchens. Wow, there's a lot of, there's a pattern of being like a lot of rooms here. Here's another weird level. Level 15 is just a monochrome style field. That's it, just monochrome. But there is an occasional wood hut, but it's not advised to go in there because they may collapse under your feet. They send you plummeting to a basement. And you may get sent to the next level, which I'd rather not go, go there or you're going to risk being eaten alive by whatever lurks in there. Level 16 is literally a copy of your house, but it's, well, run down, and it's literally almost in ruins. The upstairs floor is in ruins. So you're basically in the basement, and the ceiling will crumble any minute, in any minute. But there's cracks all over the walls, and it's in very bad shape. But there is an entity on this level that could end you and it's a, a rock worm entity that is like 10 feet tall and it could eat you in one bite if it really if it really wants to so i just advise to stay away from this level as much as you can here's a halloween -ish level level 17 resembles a pumpkin patch you went to in your childhood and it's does have occasionally insanities that hide underneath the pumpkins and they will attack you if, if you lift up the pumpkin. But there is a uh, scarecrow entity, and you, if you act nicely, he will send you to the next level. Be, but be lucky that this level is actually a lot more safer. So this next level is a cave system but it has this like water that is um uh, about an, a feet uh, one foot deep and it actually smells really good and um the water actually is also lukewarm 
and the entities that you're going to have to worry about is maybe deeper into the cave. But if you uh, get too deep in the water, then you'll probably be sent to the next level, which will be a surprise for you. So here's the next level, and it's an infinite retirement home. And once you enter the level, if you, and it's based off how you exited level 18, you would most likely wake up in the waterfall or the water uh, fountain in the main lobby. But if you sat, if you like explored deep into the cave, then you'll then you'll be sitting in a chair on this in one of the retirement on the lobby. But there are also face links, but they're actually old. They're actually supposed to represent old people. They are. They look to be like a middle-aged to elderly man and female face links, and they're pretty friendly to you. They'll actually offer you a um, some cookies and some milk, and read you their stories, even though their voices are muffled. You, they will be a welcome sight to behold. And finally, we have reached the final level of um, this part. Level 20 is this purple ish pinkish looking enchanted forest level. And it actually has a field at, after you leave it. And the field is infinite in size. Which, with, and then it actually goes out to a suburban area that is also purple. And once you get farther enough, and you'll get probably sent to level 21, which will be included in part 3. So this level is like a, it looks like, it appears to be Mars-ish, but it's more reddish and it seems a lot bigger. And this is also um, around the size of Earth, but, th but there's actually robots that would try to destroy you on this level. So I advise to keep watch of this level and keep clear of it. So, and if you're interested, the exits of this level, an exit will likely appear as a floating door and that will lead to level 22. So here is in the next safe level. And level 22 is an infinite tropical island like level. And it's pretty safe, and, uh, yeah. It, the, um, ocean stretches out for miles and miles, like, in an in infinite length. The, um, island itself is also infinite. But, it's not confirmed that it's infinite, but, but what is confirmed is that it's about, like, a hundred-ish miles. Or, like, maybe, like, yeah, a hundred miles. 200 miles in the length in like size and yeah that makes this a pretty big island and there is um an outpost here and they're willing to trade with you if you ask nicely so this level is split into two parts the first part is rather safe but the second part is when the boards collapse and you fall into the mine shaft this mine shaft is the most dangerous part about the level because it could, because it could crumble and crash down. So I advise also to leave this level alone and not go anywhere near this level. But luckily, if you do get trapped in this level, make sure you step off the platform and you will no clip into the ground and get to level 24. And luckily, this level is also pretty safe. So here's a um, nostalgic level. So this level represents um, the childhood house you lived in when, like, as like, three years age three to age seven. I'd recommend this level because you can just relive your childhood memories here. And heck, there's, if you're lucky enough and have the worst like mental disabilities, then you'll probably get to see your parent. You get to probably see. The level also creates your family. And that will mean that they all replicate your family in a certain way. So, 
you don't you're not gonna be bored here alone you're not gonna be here alone you will be here with family and and your friends 